Education officials are working towards having students be bilingual by the end of primary school and biliterate by the end of secondary school, ensuring that they are capable of reading and writing in the Creole language as they do for the English language. Stakeholders gathered for a presentation of the language education policy and plan, which ultimately seeks to fully integrate the Creole language patwa into the school curriculum. The Curriculum and Materials Development Unit, CAMDU, of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, secured funding from education partner, UNESCO, to design an implementation plan for the application of the St. Lucia National Language Policy. Secretary General for the St. Lucia National Commission for UNESCO, Marcia Symphorian, says that the organization is committed to promoting languages and multilingualism in the education system as it can advance inclusion, foster social cohesion, and contribute to sustainable development, goal number four, leaving no one behind. Today's consultation forms part of a broader process which seeks to take the national language policy from policy stage to implementation phase. The project was conceptualized by the Language Department of CAMDU, Ministry of Education, and was funded by UNESCO under its participation program 2020-2021 call. Specifically, the project addresses a very important issue of the status of the Creole language within the education system. The key objective being the, the development of an imp implementation plan, which would essentially transform policy into action, paper into practice. The policy was developed under the OECS US Aid Early Learners Program in order to address the language needs of students in the early grades. The draft implementation plan was broken down and presented to stakeholders present by a suite of language specialists and educators focusing on four pillars, teacher professional development, curriculum and assessment, resource acquisition, and development and research. My purpose here is to speak on the implications that the implementation of this language education policy would have for the nation's teachers. Um, overall, our goal is to ensure that our learners, who are the most important clients in this process, benefit from their tenure within the school system. And uh, of course, teachers are very critical to learners achieving learning objectives in the classroom. After the presentation, Stakeholders present were able to provide feedback and suggestions on the national policy as it nears its final stages for implementation. The draft national language policy can be viewed and downloaded on the CAMDU website at camdu.edu.lc. Working sessions to develop the plan are set to continue with stakeholders as the official presentation of the national language policy and implementation plan is earmarked for July 2022. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Daniel Dubois reporting.